I told the my name's Jacob. I have a kind of practical question. Um, and you, I guess you can answer it from two different angles in regards to um, if, if someone were to ask you what's your astrological sign. Um, obviously, if the stranger asks you, it might be you might be a little, able to be a little bit more forward. Let's say there's a family member or someone close to a family member, or maybe like a boyfriend or a girlfriend, a family member, and you want to be tactful on how you engage with it. What, what would you say if someone asks you, what's your astrological sign? And maybe you want to dig deeper a little bit and possibly uh, open up the conversation to share the gospel or, or talk about it. Because I guess not everyone that asks those questions is super into astrological signs for the uh, deep spiritual purpose, but... I don't know. How do you think you guys would handle that if someone would ask you that? Thanks. Love the show. Hey, thank you, Jacob, uh, for that question. That's a really good question. Uh, funny story really quick. My wife was with uh, one of our friends, and they were at some store. I forget what it was, and her friend was trying st some stuff on, and the lady that was helping them was, like, you know, just trying to be friendly. And <laughs> she was like, so what's your guys' astrological signs? And my wife just looked at her and said, those are fake. <laughs> I found that to be so funny. Anyways, I would say don't do that. Um, I mean, unless you feel like you really should and ought to uh, correct it if it's getting really weird. But uh, I laughed so hard when she told me that story. Okay, so how would I how would I handle this? If it is a stranger, yeah, I guess you could be a little bit more forward. But we should have our speech seasoned with salt so we can know how to answer anyone in any situation, right? So I think one of the things I would do is ask probing questions like, your astrological sign, I'd say, why, why is that really that important to you? Right. What do you think you're getting from your astrological sign? Is it giving you information? Do you think it tells you about different people? Do you think it's something universal? That's a question I would ask. Does this actually pertain to all people in all countries? Is this a principle that's unchanging and unbinding? Right. Uh, in terms of it being a standard an objective standard, outside of opinion? I think those would be good questions to ask somebody. Is that too deep? I don't think so. I think you just start off like this. If someone comes up to me. Hey, yo, what's up, dude? What's your astrological sign? I'm, I'm, I'm a Taurus. And I go, Oh, interesting. Um, that, that that's a, thank you for the question. Uh, but what, what's, what do you think is so important about astrological signs? What does that do for you? Right. If the person says, well, it helps me, you know, to understand myself and to understand others and have empathy. You can ask them then. Okay. I understand. I see, I see where you're coming from. So it help, helps you understand the world around you. It helps you to understand yourself and others. Then you can ask them, is it true? Do you think it's true for everybody that everyone has? And you know, you can learn about other individuals from all around the world through just their astrological signs. Yeah, I can. Okay. Why is that important? Why is it important to know other individuals? Does that matter? And why does that matter? And then you can get to a gospel conversation from there. It's like, look, you're created in the image of God. I believe that I'm created in the image of God. Here's the issue though. Um, the way I know about myself is through God's word, right? God's word says that I stand condemned before God. The wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. Meaning that Jesus Christ uh, was perfectly obedient to the law. You see where I fail is that instead of worshiping God, I worship a creation. And I, I would call astrological signs a creation of man, okay? To try to understand the world, to get knowledge of myself and those around me, you have constructed a God or believe a God that has been constructed, and you're looking to that God to give you answers. And that's false worship, and that's a sin against God. God says, thou shalt have no other God before me. So using that, you're a sinner. I'm a sinner. I'm no better than you. But the beautiful thing is, is that Jesus Christ came. He was God in the flesh, perfectly obedient to the law. He was sinless and he died on the cross, the death that you and I both deserve. And he rose from the dead, conquering sin in the grave. Now he sits at the right hand of the father, ruling and reigning. Now, astrological signs uh, can't give you the true purpose or the gospel. They can't. They can give you maybe yes or no answers to things or Maybe try to help you understand yourself in some way, but see that won't that won't solve the the problem that one day you're gonna die and you're gonna meet God. You're not gonna be able to tell him, "Hey man, but I'm a Taurus, you know." So I was just doing what Tauruses do. You know, he'll say, "You're a sinner doing what a sinner does," and you rejected the sacrifice of my son, and that's where eternal punishment comes in. 
but I don't want that for you. We, we have angered and deserve the wrath of a holy God, but Jesus Christ, the holy God, came and died the death that I deserve. It's what it is. And then continue about your day. Even with your family, you love them. That's why you're telling them this. Maybe they get angry. Who knows what God's going to do? All right, let's continue on.